In this video, we'll show you how to create serial numbers, date codes, and timestamps. To begin, we need to insert text. So let's click on the Create Text button here in this vertical toolbar. Then click anywhere in the workspace to insert text. On the left, I'm going to drag this window all the way up to the top because here at the bottom, we have this Enable Variables option. And when we check on it, more options will appear below. Uh, click on Add to bring up the Variable Element window, which shows us all the different types of variables that we can add to our workspace. Let's start with Serialize. When we click on that, the settings for serial numbers appear on the right. Start is the starting number. We'll set that to 1. Current is the current serial number. And we'll change that to 5. Limit is the max serial number. And increment by is the number of steps your serial number will increase by after each mark. We'll set this to 2. On the right, you can see different times under this reset option. Activating this will reset the serial number back to the starting serial number at the times indicated. So if we activate this and set it at 12 a.m., and the serial number is at 499 at the end of the day, the very first mark at the beginning of the next day will be 1. When we click OK, we'll see that the text that was here has now been replaced by the number entered under current, which was 00005. These zeros in front of the 5 are called leading zeros, and there's an option to remove them. Here, in the lower left-hand corner, you have your list of variables. Uh, let's click on the serial number we just created, and then click on the Modify button, which will bring the settings back up. Underneath Type, we have this No Leading Zero option. So when we check that and then click OK, we'll see that the zeros are now gone. Now, the serial number is currently 5, and the increment is set to 2. So after the laser marks the 5, it would mark 7 next. However, since we're not actually marking anything in this video, you won't actually see this serial number change. OK, so let's modify this again and change the type to date code. So we we'll click on the variable, click modify, and under type, change from serialize to date code. OK, so for date code, we have a whole bunch of different options. We have a four-digit year, we have a two-digit year, uh, two-digit month, the day of the month, the day of the year, day of the week, and week of the year. So let's start by adding a two-digit month. It's February, so when we click OK, it's going to be 02. And now let's create the rest of the date. To do that, instead of clicking Modify, we'll click Add to add a new variable. Now click Date Code. So we have the two-digit month. Let's do the day of the month next. And then add, let's do a four-digit year. There. So now we have the full date, but it looks kind of like a jumbled random set of numbers. We can fix that by adding slashes between the month, the day, and the year. So let's click Add, and under Fixed Text, let's change the text to a slash. And we'll hit OK. Now the slash is at the very end of the date, and we need it between these numbers here. So in the list of variables, click on that text, and then use the previous and next buttons to move the text around. After we click previous, we'll need to go and click on the text again and press previous again. Now we have the slash between the month and the day. And let's add one more slash. So we can put that between the day and the year. So now let's say you want to also enter the time. To do that, uh, we'll click Add, 
and we'll choose time. And here are our options for the time. We can add hours in the 24 hour format or the 12 hour format. And we can add minutes and seconds. So let's do a 12 hour time and click OK. And then let's also add the minutes. But before we do that, let's just enter fixed text. I will make this a colon. And then add time minute. There. Now we have the hours and we have a colon between the hour and the minute. And let's go back and just add a space between the year and the hour. So we'll click add, fix text, and we'll replace the text with just a blank space. Click OK. And then we need to click on the text and hit previous. There. Now we have the full date and the time. And it's all easy to read thanks to the different fixed text that we entered. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future laser marking tutorials.